Hello everyone and welcome to module 1.5 of our lesson in Eng10 Precalculus for engineers. For this module, we are going to talk about rational expressions. Okay, so basically, we are going to simplify and operate on rational expressions. So this is the outline. First lesson would be simplifying rational expressions. And then we're going to multiply rational expressions, then dividing rational expressions, adding and subtracting, and finally, we will try to simplify complex rational expressions. What is rational expression, by the way? Rational expression is the quotient or ratio of two polynomial expressions. Okay, sa madaling sabi, rational expression is a fraction. And uh, talking about fraction, yung mga rules and principles involving fractions they are the ones applicable in simplifying and operating rational expressions okay so we will go over this one by one as we go along our outline okay the first one is simplifying rational expressions how do we simplify rational expressions okay so a rational expression is said to be in lowest term, meaning it's already simplified, if the numerator and denominator have no common factors other than one or negative one. So to simplify rational expression, we need to factor the numerator and denominator and then we cancel any common factors. Okay, so we shall illustrate the steps here in this example. Reduce the following rational expression to lowest terms. Okay, so we have 6x raised to 8 divided by 8x raised to 6. Okay, so customarily, uh, we are going to write the polynomial or the rational expressions in factored form. Okay, so the factored form of 6 is 2 times 3 right? and x raised to 8 is simply x this is if we want to do this uh, the long method we have to factor out everything like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then 8 and below or the denominator the factors of 8 are 2 and uh, the prime factors are 2 times 2 times 2 right and then x raised to 6 is basically x times x times x times x times x times x and then after factoring the numerator and the denominator we are going to cancel the common factors okay so common tikay nang sa won dagitay pagpadaan nga factors ni numerator ken ni denominator so since para silang merong 2 we are going to cancel 2 and then x and then another x and then another x another x another x and finally another x okay so if you take a look at this one uh, we are going to write what is remaining after canceling the common factors in the numerator the remaining factors are 3 and 2 x's here so that's x squared in the denominator the remaining factors are 2 times 2 uh, that is 4 okay so if you take a look at this one the numerator and the denominator cannot be further simplified because there are no other common factors between the two polynomials okay so this is now the complete uh, i mean the the simplified rational expression okay do we always need to write something like this every now and then 
of course not right this this is the deals right so how are we going to minimize our calculations okay so let us rewrite our uh, our given so we have 6 x raised to 8 divided by 8 x raised to 6 okay so dito eh mabalin tayo iti add cancel out by dividing dahil kita common nga mabalin nga ma-divide yung numerator can denominator for example 6 and 8 they can be both divided by 2 so we can divide by 2 6 divided by 2 what is left is 3 8 divided by 2 what is left is 4 okay and here we have x raised to 8 and x raised to 6 okay the the rule here is we should cancel the lower the lower uh, you know exponent so x raised to 6 is lower so we need to cancel out x raised to 6 but we need to subtract here 6 it's like simplifying uh, quotient of integer exponents right uh, if we back our lesson in integer exponents so this is actually 2 subtracting 8 and 6 okay so and then let us write the uh, answer by combining what is left okay we have 3x squared above divided by 4 see okay, you will arrive at the same answer okay let us try to answer one more example I mean we have we have other examples here we still have three examples okay but let us try to answer this one okay so we have 7a raised to 5 b raised to 4 divided by 21 a squared b raised to 5 okay so we, we will not write the factored form anymore all right we are just going to cancel out common factors like 7 and 21 they can be both divided by uh, divided by 7 right so 7 divided by 7 is 1 21 divided by 7 is 3 okay and then next we have a raised to 5 and a squared okay so we are going to cancel out a squared and what is left uh, in 5 is 3 5 minus 2 is 3 and then b raised to 4 and b raised to 5 of course b raised to 4 is lesser as a lesser exponent so we are going to cancel this one b uh, 5 minus 4 is 1 or simply b and then we write the answer by combining what is left 1 a cube okay so we don't need to write one anymore in the numerator so what is left is a a cube Okay, and then below, in the, de the denominator, we have 3, b raised to 1, or simply 3, b. Okay, so that is now the uh, simplified form of the rational expression. Okay, then this is our third example. We have x squared minus 9 divided by or all over x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, the first step here, since we uh, we cannot immediately, you know, if this is the case, we cannot immediately cross out x squared. Okay, we cannot do that. Why? Because x squared is not a factor. Okay, x squared is not a factor. We need to factor the numerator and the denominator. Okay, we need to factor first. Okay, looking at the numerator we have x squared minus 9 so this is a difference of two squares we can actually factor this out as x plus 3 and uh, multiplied by x minus 3 remember the factoring technique the difference of two squares remember that okay that's what we use in the numerator how about in the denominator this is a trinomial uh, the coefficient of x squared is 1 so this is simply uh, two binomials together when multiplied of course the first uh, terms of the factors are x okay. x because this is x squared and then we are looking for the factors of 3 that when added together is equal to 4 
that's obvious 3 and 1 right so that's positive 3 and positive 1 so that's the factors of the uh, denominator now the next step is to cancel out the common factors of the numerator and denominator obviously the common factor is x plus 3 so we will cancel out x plus 3 okay and what is left is x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 so this is now the simplified form of the rational expression and let us try another and this is our last example for simplifying rational expression above we have 18x squared plus 9xy minus 2y squared okay of course this is a trinomial right you can do uh, whatever method of factoring you are comfortable with okay for me uh, i would like to use um, the trial and error method here okay so let me try of course the factors are two binomials i'm going to write it that way okay so we have 18x squared so i may try 2x and 9x okay so 2x and 9x and we have negative 2y squared uh, the only factors of negative 2 it's either 1 negative 2 or negative 1 positive 2 of course i am looking for the middle term to be positive right so it, it needs to be positive 9 okay for this one to become a positive 9 uh, I think it's not okay if this is negative 2 this is positive 1 uh, that's 2x negative 18x uh, it's not possible okay so we are going to erase that one because it's not correct okay so that's another try and error right try and error okay let us try another okay you have to try this you have to try again until you get the correct factored form of the numerator what are other factors of 18 okay let us try to write in here factors of okay, factors of uh, 18 uh, aside from 1 and 18 we also have 2 and 9 we also have 3 and 6 right so i think uh, the most plausible uh, factors to be used are 3 and 6 okay let us try 3 and 6 we have 3x and 6x okay and then we have negative 2 so that's uh but we are looking for a positive 9 to be uh, the middle term so a sum uh, of product of, an, uh, of a positive should be here so positive 2 if here is positive 2 and here is negative 1 uh, there should be y here and then let's try to multiply 2 times 6 is 12 xy and 3x multiplied by negative 1 is negative 3xy if we add this together that's 9xy now we are we we have uh, gotten you know the correct factored form of 18x squared plus 9xy minus 2y squared so the correct factored form is 3x plus 2y multiplied by 6x minus y okay so that's the factored form of the numerator in the denominator you try to take a look at this one this is actually difference of two squares right okay let me try and erase our solution for uh this one uh, i'm gonna erase this one okay so 
and then let us try to factor the denominator okay so 9x squared you know, we, we can write this as 3x squared minus 2y squared right so this is basically difference of two squares and we know that the factors of difference of two square is 3x plus 2y and 3x minus 2y okay and then take a look at the numerator and denominator if there are common factors let us eliminate them of course 3x plus 2y 3x plus 2y they are common so we are going to eliminate them okay, therefore the answer is 6x minus y divided by 3x minus 2y so this is now the simplified form of the rational expression